What's up, everyone? BT3 back again. And you guys have been waiting for this. I know I've been waiting for it. It is time for the ultimate dating story of the dating saga, where the stories are 100% true, and I am 100% dumbass. Now, this one isn't about some crazy bitch. Not that any of you are bitches. That's just in terms of endearment, okay? None of you are bitches. But I'm 100% goof in this one. This is a goof on me. So we'll just break right down into it. So I got this perfect date, okay? Uh, I got this whole thing planned out. Want to get a romance thing. Christmas is around the corner. I want to go to Christmas in the park with a beautiful woman, okay? I'm a softy. I'll admit it. I like doing shit like that. It's fucking neat. So I found this girl, if you don't know what Christmas in the park is, it's basically like this area that has like Christmas lights and stuff and like little characters made and everything in animations and you just like turn off your lights and you drive through it. Most most cities have something like that. And it usually takes about, about 45 minutes to an hour to get through. There's a lot of traffic and it's busy. Alright, so I hit up this chick and I'm like, hey, let's do this. She goes, oh my gosh, Blake, that's so romantic. You're like this sweet guy. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm in like Flint, baby. I got this taken care of. So I'm like, let's do some dinner. Let's go to this Christmas in the park. She gonna be like, oh, Blake, you're so amazing. Like, you're gonna give me that booty. Now, I'm not, you know, I'm not doing it just to get the booty. I'm just, you know, you know what I'm saying. Well, let's just do it. You know what I'm saying, all right? So I'm like, all right, cool. So we go to 54th Street. We're all doing good. We're eating some food. You know, like, yeah, I'm feeling good. And she's like, all into me, like, yeah, baby. So we're on our way to Christmas in the park. And I'm like, hell yeah, we bouncing. We bumping into some fucking tunes, baby. Just, yeah. And so we get there. And I'm like, cool. So we go in there and, like, you know, turn the lights off. We're all, she's all excited. Like, oh, Blake, this is so sweet of you and everything. And then all of a sudden, something hits me. I gotta take a shit. All right? And, and that's the thing. Because there's no way that you can get off the road or anything. It's a single road. Like, you got to go through the motherfucker. Like, once you're there, you're committed. And this ain't just one of those, like, hey, it's kind of poking out. Like, I got to take a shit. No, it's like, I just ate bad chili dogs. I got to take a fucking shit. So I'm like, oh, man. Like, this ain't good. Like, there's nowhere to go. And so, like, we're going through there. And there's, like, these animation penguins and shit. I'm just like, fuck you, penguins. We got to get the fuck out of here. And she's all like, what's wrong, Blake? Like, what's wrong? You're not talking. You're always talking. What's wrong? I'm like, bitch, I'm out of shit. But see, that's the thing. I was only 19 years old. And this is a big deal to me. Like, I didn't want to tell her that I had to poop. You know, like, now I'd have been like, oh, fuck, bitch. Like, we got to get the fuck out of here. Like, shit is coming. Shit is coming, girl. But back then, like, I was shy about it. Like, I didn't, you know, I wasn't comfortable with that. I wasn't, like, the big goof that I am now. So I didn't want to say anything. I didn't want to ruin the moment and everything. So I'm over there fucking sweating. She's like, why do you have the heater off, Blake? And I'm like, because I'm sweating. I'm fucking needing this shit so bad. I can't run my crack in the window like, oh, God damn, give me some air. So we're going through this thing. And, like, it's taking, like, like seriously, like, over an hour because there's so much traffic and no one's going. I'm like, bitch, just fucking move. So we finally get to the end. And so you're supposed to, like, donate at the at the end of the thing. And I'm like, fucking bitch, I just flew through that motherfucker. I was like, move, motherfuckers, I'll get you next time. Being stuck at Christmas in the park for over a fucking hour is fucking insanity. Like, what are the chances that we get there in line and go, oh, shit. So we finally get out of there. I'm like, I gotta stop at the CVS right at the top of this hill. I, I gotta fucking do it, okay? So I go in there and everything. And, and like, I should just admit it by now. That, hey, you know, I, I'm not feeling well. Like, something, it's something that ain't right up in here. But, no, I don't do that. I don't want to ruin the moment with her. You know, if I'm saying, oh, I got to take this huge shit, like, she ain't going to think I'm all fucking sexy. You know what I'm saying? So, I go in there. The fucking toilet's broke! Like, how is that possible? How do I go fuck, fucking suffering through that? And then they go to the CVS and the toilet's broke. And, bitch, you're a new store. You just opened a month ago. How's your shit broke? So, No. And Blake, th this would be the time where everybody's like, Blake, Blake, hey, you need to just admit to her, like, you know, shit's going on, literally. Oh, no, Blakey don't do it. Blakey's going to go all, try to go all the way home, 25 minutes away from there. I got to make it. So she's like, Blake, are you okay? Like, you're not acting yourself. I'm like, oh, oh no, I'm, I'm fine. And so I'm like, get out of the car, like running, like trying to open the garage. Like, what bitch, move. I'm pushing her out of the way and shit. She's like, Blake, why are you running funny? I didn't make it, man. I made it in the garage and shit myself. 
so I'm like, oh shit. So I'm like running upstairs, like in the bathroom and everything. And then, of course, she's sitting there and I'm like trying to play it off. Like I'm like hurrying up in the bathroom and everything, you know what I mean? And then my parents get home, my sister, she's like, oh my god, why do you smell like shit in here? Like, fuck! All that and just, she got found out anyway. Ain't that some shit? <laughs> So, I'm sure that's happened to somebody else. Everybody's got a shitty story, man. And it just was the worst timing ever. Thanks for tuning in, guys. And I'll see you in the next one.